Yo, what is up everybody? Uh, my name is Jackson. Um, I've been kind of wanting to do a video like this for a while um, since I've been thrifting and trying to do Depop and eBay and stuff like reselling essentially full time. Um, but I don't know how to edit really well, but I saw someone else recently um, just do a video off their iPhone just like this and I thought, why not do it, you know? Um, Cause I really want to share some of the cool things that I find when I thrift with you guys. Um, and then possibly start doing like trips to the thrifts and videos like that. Um, you know, I watch all that stuff all the time. So why not create some content like that so you guys can see. So today, essentially what I'm going to do is go over my craziest thrift finds that I have in my possession. I've sold a lot of them already, just like through Depop or eBay. Um, I've been trying to do this like full time for about five months now. Um, so a lot of them have come and gone, but there's some right next to me that I'll pull out and show you guys that um, have stayed in the personal or haven't sold yet. So I'm gonna show you guys them, maybe some stories that go along with them. Um, so the first two actually were featured on the Depop Explorer page, like literally an hour before I did this. Um, so that's really sick. Uh, Depop's like my main selling platform. Um, so I'll show you guys those too. So this one um, is this all over print single stitch um, like shark and uh, like sea life like it's got a seaweed and like it's kind of a split color so it's like light blue and then dark blue and it's the same on the back except for no sharks they're not there uh, but I got this um, at a value village um, all of these two are at racks or retail stores um, I do the bins too like maybe once or twice a, a week if I have time to but um, I haven't pulled anything that crazy from bins mostly just easy sell stuff so um, yeah, this was Valley Village fine. It's really sick. I'm really scared of sharks, but, uh, you know, I had to cop it. So there's that guy. Um, this is actually a repop. So I bought this off someone on Depop. Um, kind of wanted it for the personal, but it's a little bit too slim, but this is a Tony Stewart, um, all over print, uh, single stitch NASCAR shirt from the nineties. Um, this is the front and then this is the back. It's crazy. His Home Depot car. Um, apparently this fool killed someone. I just found out today and I read about it on Wikipedia. So go look that up cause it's crazy. Um, but it's on that Chase Authentics tag, made in USA. So yeah, there's that guy. Um, this one's like not that crazy. Um, I just really like Nautica and I've seen like a f decline in it. And I, my friend and I were talking about it. I think it's cause like little Yachty isn't like as popping anymore. Cause he wore a lot of Nautica stuff. But uh, I found this like a few months ago. It's just a shell, like a cream colored Nautica jeans shell with a spell out and all the, uh, the zippers are all, have little spell outs on them. They're all uh, labeled and stuff. Um, the back has nothing, but it was a sick little find. I think it was like four bucks or something. So I thought I'd include that. It's like one of the like lesser hyped pieces that I have that I think is really sick. Um, I got a few more, man, this one is kind of thrash, but I found Versace in the thrift um maybe two months ago um it has like a few little holes it's versace jeans quarter or whatever yeah quarter i don't know how to say it it's got a little branding on the zippers um it's got this little patch right here that has a little spell out on it um it's really ugly and i don't expect to get much at all but i just thought it was cool it's my first like versace thing i found in thrift um i've also found like fake gucci like this guy up here um it's like a just big fake gucci bag i got for like 10 bucks i thought it's sick i might like rework the materials or something but yeah this guy versace um this is one of my more crazier recent finds um i did an all-day thrift thing with my friend andy shout out andy um cascadia vintage um but this is a master p game face promo tee from 2001 um, has Master P on the sleeve right there, um, the game face, and then the back is the new No Limit Records hit on the back. This thing is crazy. I found this in like the polo section at a Goodwill and it was like two bucks. Um, so I haven't seen another one like this. I've seen the No Limit Record tees, um, but yeah, this is a crazy like early 2000s rap tee. Um, probably one of the only rap tees I've found. Um, so yeah, I found this like a month ago. It's crazy. Um, and I got two more. Um, these are my craziest finds that I've had. This one, um, has been sitting on eBay for quite a while and it bums me out. Um, but I, I know what it's worth. So I'm trying to, trying to get that much for it. But this is an 
original ACDC 1988 Heat Seeker Tour shirt, single stitch uh, on a Shirtex tag from New York, um, made in USA. This thing is crazy. I got this at the same Goodwill that I got that uh, Master P shirt at actually, but it was like a month prior. Um, and it was on the ground. Like, you know, in, in Goodwill, I don't know how your Goodwills are, but in my Goodwills, like the shirts are always against the wall and they always like have just like a dusty ass ground on the bottom of it. And this was like literally on the ground, like balled up. And I always check those tees now, but I pulled it out and I was like, is this original? Like, oh my God. And yeah, it is. Um, so I've seen these go for 200 plus. Um, I have it sitting up for around that price. Um, I've had low ball offers, you know, 7,500 bucks, but um, this one is crazy. Honestly, if it was bigger, I'd probably rock it, but it's like, fits like a medium, but one of the craziest, second craziest, my first craziest find ever, and it's very fitting for me because it's my favorite TV show, is this original Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me shirt, uh, movie promo shirt for the Fire Walk With Me movie. Um, yeah, this thing is absolutely crazy. Um, it has puffy ink on it. I've never seen another one like this. It's like almost like tie. It's like marble. I almost said tie dyed. It's like marbled, like green, like seafoam green. Um, nothing on the back. Um, just that fire walk with me graphic. I've never seen another one like this. Um, it's on U. I think U C U L. I've never even seen that tag before. But it's single stitch, um, and little story about this my friend cody found it and sent a picture to me this is probably like three years ago like i've had this shirt for like three years and it's never leaving my personal collection i've got crazy offers for it i'm not letting it go but he found this at a value village and he sent a picture of it to me and i was like dude what size is that like it's legit you need to grab it and by the time i text him back he was already gone he's like oh dude i already left and it was like nine o'clock value village closes at like nine so i was like shit so I went there the like right when it opened, like 9 a.m. I was there. I ran in and I saw it like kind of like poking out right from the rack and I could tell immediately what it was. I grabbed it. I think it was like $3. And uh, this is a personal, it's gonna stay in the personal forever. Um, so that's my craziest find. If I had to value it, I don't know, probably like at least 250, 300. Um, but yeah, those are my craziest thrift finds that I have in my possession right now. Um, I'm gonna try to start making more videos like this. Like I said, I'm just not good with editing and stuff and it kind of discourages me, but I really love watching content like this. So I was like, why not make it? And especially uh, with trying to get my Depop popping and stuff and trying to do it full time. Like why not try to show you guys what I'm picking up for you guys and stuff. So yeah, this has uh, been a video that I just did. Um, don't know how to outro, but uh, if you want to follow my Depop, it's depop.com backslash jaxvx, so J-A-X, VX. I'm trying to get the username changed. It should be changed like next month. So it's Loveless Vintage, which is actually what my store is called. Um, so Loveless Vintage. You can find me on Instagram too, um, loveless.vintage um, at Instagram. So yeah, uh, let me know if you guys want to see any more certain things. I've thought about doing like Depop content, um, like help with shipping with Depop, um, help with like getting featured with Depop. I was a suggested seller. I'm featured almost weekly on the Explore page. So let me know if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff and I will check you guys later. Oh, this also is a personal grail that I got off of Depop. Um, thank you, Merch God, um, was who I bought it off of. Uh, vintage whole shirt. Let me see if I can show you guys the back. I have to crouch a little bit. Um, but yeah, I've been listening to so much whole lately. And uh, I just caught this from him. So I wanted to give a shout out and also show you guys this amazing shirt. So yeah, thank you guys again. And I will see you later.